Welcome back to another video. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Buffalo Performance and Analysis, where we combine sports science, strength conditioning, and sports performance to give coaches the tools necessary to build the next level of elite athletes. In this video, we're taking a look at how we can embed our scripts into our Power BI dashboards in order to better display data. So the first thing we're going to do is add some slicers to our dashboard. So under visualizations, we're going to select slicer. Um, I've already gone ahead and added three. So I've added the name, position, and session type. Those are the biggest three that we're going to be working with for today's data set. The data that we're working with today is our dirty data from our soccer performance data that you can find on Kaggle. I'll leave a link so you can check it out. When we want to add a R script visual, under our visualizations tab here, we have this little R, R script visual. We'll simply click on it here, and it's going to ask us to drag the values that we want to visualize into the uh, values pane right here. So, you know, we can click and drag date. Um, we can click and drag RPE, and then let's say maybe the athlete name. Um, when we're looking at the values, once we've submitted them or added them here, we want to change the date uh, to just date as opposed to date hierarchy. So we'll switch it to date. Um, and then same thing with RPE. We don't want to summarize the RPE. Uh, so we'll come over here and click don't summarize. And then we'll see that it's going to do a couple things automatically for us. Uh, so it's going to create the data frame of our date, RPE, and name. And it's calling it data set. And then same thing here, it's going to be unique, so it's uh, removing any duplicates. So that's a thing that you have to kind of be on the lookout in case there are duplicate values in your data set. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the visualizations that I've already created. So, so let's take a look at our histogram of distance that we've already created. In uh, Power BI, just like in our studio, we have our base R's already installed. Uh, so things like histograms, I don't have to install any packages for that. When we look at the other graph, I'll show you how we can install packages uh, into our Power BI dashboards. So here we're calling on a histogram. We want to create a histogram. We're looking at the data set, uh, looking at the distance column, and then we went ahead and changed the X label to be distance, and then the main or the main title to be histogram of distance. And it's really that simple for creating a, a histogram of distance here. What's neat is that it's now interactive. So if I select uh, an athlete's name, it's going to be interactive with the slicer that we've already gone ahead and created. So I can take a look at uh, an individual athlete, an individual position, or I can go ahead and take a look at uh, games versus practice. Um, and then same thing here, I can take a look at a specific athlete during a specific session type. When we're taking a look at this graph on position, RPE, and distance, we're utilizing some functions from dplyr and the tidyverse. So we have to install those packages and then load them into our library just like we would in our studio. From there, everything operates as normal. We're calling on ggplot. The data is data set. And the aesthetics, we're looking at RPE and distance. Then we want to look at it as a scatter plot, so we're utilizing geom point, and then we're facet wrapping by position, and then we also want to add a geom smooth uh, to see the trends in the data. From there, we can do the same exact thing. We can filter by position. Now we've already facet wrapped by position, but if I select a single position here, we'll see that this graph becomes interactive. It does take a little bit of a longer time. Um, but it is still interactive, so we'll wait here. So we see that it does take a little bit longer, um, but we see the center forwards that we selected in the slicer. And just like we did with the position, we can also filter by session type. So if we want to take a look at our practices, we can see how the data adjusts by positions here. Again, it does take a little bit longer, but one of the downsides of a scatter plot in Power BI is that it doesn't allow us the opportunity to use geom jitter, um, in which case we can utilize an R script visual in our dashboard. We can utilize geom jitter to kind of have a better look at the data. So this was just a short video looking at how we can embed R script visuals into our Power BI dashboards to better portray data for our sports science dashboards.